It was just a sense of peace and uh, of happiness, joy. That's how Sister Elaine Bebin describes her emotions after realizing God was calling her to be a nun as an eighth grader. Now part of the religious teachers Filipini order, named in honor of St. Lucy Filipini, Sister Elaine encourages young women through their own vocations. Don't say no, say maybe and be open to it and at least try, come and see. Um, it's better to come and see and not have regrets later to say I should have. Her ministry also includes tending to youngsters at an elementary school in New Jersey, where the order is based. The religious teachers Filipini also serve the Brooklyn Diocese at St. Bernadette's Catholic Academy in Diker Heights. Along with growing academically, the main focus is for the students to hear the Lord's call. God needs to be part of their life, uh, whether he's going to call them to a religious life or as good baptized Christians to have that relationship with Christ is very important. But Sister admits in today's society, the toughest obstacle facing her ministry is the fear young people have of commitment. This world makes it hard to trust in, in many things, so trusting in God can be difficult at times. So it's really to take that leap of faith in a sense to have that trust that the first apostles did in Christ uh, and know that he won't abandon us. And once realizing the Lord is with them, Sister Elaine suggests young people pay close attention. You never know what God is calling you to be open to. Pray. Pray is the most, prayer is the most important thing. And the hope is that the power of prayer will lead to more vocations during Bishop DiMarzio's year-long campaign. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.